I want to show you exactly how to add music to your YouTube videos and I want to show you two very popular ways and I'll answer some commonly asked questions as we go through this process. The very first one is I want to show you how to do this after you upload a video. You could actually add music but it's a bit limited but it takes place right on YouTube. Really easy to use. Then I'll show you how to do it with a free editing app the way I prefer to do it and I'll also show you where to get unlimited royalty free soundtracks different music tracks that professionals have made that you could use for your own YouTube videos. Let's jump in. So the very first option is actually just clicking create right here after you log into your YouTube channel and uploading a video from here. And you simply go through an upload process. So if you've ever created a video on YouTube and uploaded it to YouTube, you select a file and you go through the upload process. Once the video is published, let me go to a published video. Here's a published video right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and you could do this while it's still unlisted. So it could be set to unlisted here, but there's an option under each video as soon as you go into it called editor. And under the edit tab, there's an option for audio. So if I press the plus sign here, I could actually use music from the YouTube audio library. This is what YouTube provides for you. So if you look over here, there's all these different sounds you could choose from. Now, here's the limitation though. Let me show you what happens here. I'm gonna press add on a song here and it's gonna add it right over here. So if you see this track on top, that's me talking, okay? That's the track of me talking. This blue track is a music track. So what I could do is I could make it a bit shorter here. So the part that stays blue is the part that is the background music. And I need to adjust the mix level here all the way to zero. Okay, this is actually still not zero. This actually turns it into background music. So you could still hear me talking. So let me go ahead and press play here. Is it lets me take just a 15 second portion or if I tap right here. So you get the idea, you could hear the music but you could still hear me talking. If this was set to a hundred, the music would take over and you wouldn't hear me any longer. But the limitation here is you don't have many options to choose from and it's really hard to add multiple music tracks and really layer them. So you can, for example, let me add another track here. I'll press add. You could see it lets you add it, but it's really hard to basically edit these to exactly where you want them. You can edit the in point and the out point. So you can do it this way where this music ends and another one starts, but for more fine tuning, you're going to have to use another editing software, but give this a try. But let me show you my preferred way that I've used for years. I use this editing software called DaVinci Resolve. It's completely free and I do have a complete walkthrough tutorial on YouTube if you've never used it before. But let me go ahead and delete this and I'll show you exactly how to do this in this platform. I'm gonna go ahead and press delete. So when you open it up, all you have to do is come to this third tab over here and I just need to bring in my video file. So let me go ahead and bring that. Here is my video file. I'll drag it and put it over here. I'm gonna put it right down here now into my track. So this blue track is video. This green track is audio of me talking. There is still no music. So this is all it takes to add music. First, I need to find a music track I wanna use. So let me show you exactly where I find my favorite royalty-free music. I use this platform called Invato Elements and they actually are sponsoring this video. And they have a music tab here and there's something called royalty free music, meaning I could actually download any of these songs and use it on YouTube without any type of copyright issues. You can't just Google a song and download it. You need royalty free music. So either you use the YouTube library or you download from a platform like this one. Now this platform has well over 100,000 royalty free music tracks. And what I like about it is this filtering option. So I typically come to this section called mood and I find something, for example, if it needs to be uplifting, I check this on right here. And then that gives me background music that I could use or I could choose from any of these options. Typically upbeat is one of my favorite categories and inspiring and uplifting is another. I listen to a song, so I would just press play here. And then if I like it, I just press download right over here. So let me go ahead and do that. Now here's that music track that I wanna use. So this is all I have to do. I just go back to my editing app. And by the way, you don't have to use DaVinci. If you use any type of editing platform or editing application, it's going to work the exact same way. They usually let you put another music track. But all I have to do is go and take that song. Again, I'm gonna drag and drop it just like I did the other one. And then this is my audio. I'm gonna go ahead and 
click it and grab it and bring it down here. You see how it created a second audio track? This first one is me talking. The second one is the background music. And all I have to do is grab it right on this line. You see, I get these two arrows and I'm gonna make this negative 26 dB. Okay, so that's going to be background. If I have this at zero, it's gonna dominate and you can't hear me talking. So if you don't have anyone talking, leave this at zero. If you have someone talking, you wanna bring this down to 26, 27, somewhere between that. I typically have 30, but it really depends on the song and how loud the song is. So you have to listen to it and see if you could hear yourself. Then I come to the end right here. I grab it and I make sure it's just as long as my track here of my entire video. I could also duplicate this to make it longer if it's shorter than my video. And then I could go ahead and grab the ending and fade it. You see how it's creating a nice fade. And that's all I really have to do. Now, if I press play, there's a brand new option inside of YouTube here where you could you could hear me talking, but the audio is nice background music. Now, all I have to do is come to this last icon right here, and I just choose H.264, and then this is a video file for YouTube. I just choose my destination here and give it a title. This is a test. Go ahead and save it. I'm going to go ahead and add it to render queue down here and press render all over here. And here it is inside of my movies folder. I could go ahead and preview. There's a brand new option inside has of the YouTube background here music. where you could edit a portion. Of okay, perfect. That has the background music. So I could go back to YouTube and upload it. And I no longer have to rely on the YouTube's built in music library. And I have lots more options and lots more creativity here with how many songs I could use as my background music. I'll put a link in the description to Envato Elements if you want to give it a try. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.